When we say Jesus is Lord, when we say Lord Jesus, we're saying that Jesus is Yahweh. And, that, and Yahweh is the Son of the Most High God. The core of Jesus' preaching, his theological preaching, is the Trinity. You know, obviously it's not developed like as it was, you know, 300, 400 years later, philosophically. But his preaching is, is the Trinity. He's, he, uh, when he corrects Judaism. He says the Jews did not know God. They lost who God was. Um, and, and he came to reveal God um, as the Son. He revealed the Most High God as Father, that he is the Son, and, he and um, that the Father is the Creator through the Son, and that he incorporates all things into himself by the Holy Spirit. Um, so the Gospel, the Gospel of St. John is, is, has the most explicit theolo- uh, uh, Trinitarian teaching, um, uh, and it's, which is very complex actually. Um, and it's pretty amazing that it, uh, it, on one hand, that it was formulated uh, so soon after Christ. Uh, but yet his, his teaching is, is the root and foundation of that Trinitarian teaching. I think the best way of thinking about it is who, what, and how. Who Jesus is, who the Trinity is, is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the persons. What God is, is the essence. How God man- reveals and manifests himself, how God acts, is the energy. The persons are the subjects of the energy. In other words, they're the ones doing the action. But the action, because God is perfect, reveals who God is, because the energy reveals the, the, the how reveals the what. Reduced to those, those terms, it becomes, <clears throat> it's much easier to get a handle on. Um, Judaism had, had gone, gone off base um, and combined all the ideas they had of God into a single monad, so that there was only God, who had all these different names. Um, God Almighty, God, uh, uh, you know, Lord, of, Lord of Hosts, all these, all these various things, um, <clears throat> including and and so they 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 added the the label or the name Yahweh. They added all of these other things, um, and they consolidated it all into this idea of a single being that is completely outside of the creation. Um, how you have a solitary monad being a personal being is a different question. Um, but the personhood of God is uh, fundamentally, uh, well, is, is, is part of God's very, very being. Because God only subsists as, as persons, as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in relation, you can't you can't separate the Son from the Father. You can't separate the Holy Spirit from the Father and the Son. Um, all three all three are indivisible and inseparable and yet distinct. Um, and it's their personal relation, the interpersonal relationship, which yields their identity of of the Almighty God as the Father, of, uh, of, of the one who is generated as the Son, the beloved Son of the Father, of the Spirit who proceeds as, as the Spirit of the Father who, is, who, is, who rests in the Son and is given to the Son, of the, of the Father who acts through the Son by the Spirit to create, to create all things. So that, so that the creation flowed from the Father through the Son by the Spirit, and the Spirit is sent to recapitulate the creation in the Son to offer it to the Father.
so there's there's there's, there's a flow. The Father uh, is eternally the Father of the Son. He generates the Son from all eternity. There was never a time when the Son did not exist. Um, God is all has all from all eternity been been Father, and uh, the Son has is from all eternity. Um, come forth from the Father and and have the relationship of Son to the Father and the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father eternally. There was never a time when the Spirit did not exist, when the Spirit did not proceed. And so, and so the three share the divine essence. Uh, the Father shares the divine essence with the Son and the Spirit. Right? Now, the energies manifest the essence. In other words, the what, the how manifests the what. It also manifests the who, but the who is, you know, God is perfect, so the who and the who and the what are, you know, not separable. Right. Um, so, uh, so uh, the divine energy, the ultimate subject is the Father, right? He is the subject of all actions, and that ultimate action is the creation. Um, the Father creates through the Son, um, it says in Colossians, all things were made through him and for him, and in him all things consist. The Father made the, made, uh, the Father conceived the creation, the Son brought it into being by the, by the power and activity of the Holy Spirit. And, and, in, the, and in salvation, <clears throat> the Father sends the Son into the world, who in turn sends the Holy Spirit to recapitulate all creation uh, in the Son so that the Son offers it in thanksgiving to the Father. So there's this flow, there's a dual flow of grace.